Hey, say what it do, YouTube. It's your boy, Bruce Carter. I am back with another YouTube video. And as you can see, we got another sneaker review for y'all, bro. Like, I don't even know what to say at this point. I've been switching it up a little bit. I've been trying to get, like, more designer sneakers. You know what I'm saying? Get some Travis Scott's here. Some designer sneakers here. Get some Balenciaga, some Dior, etc., etc. But this... This is more out of like, you know what I'm saying, the things that I really usually get. This is basically a Converse. Like if we're gonna be honest, this is a distressed, disoriented Converse. And I've wanted these shoes so bad in the past. And the fact that I'm able to get them in my collection means the world to me. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you smash that like button. Comment, share, subscribe. I post every single Wednesday and Saturday on this channel. Listen, without further ado, let's get straight into it. We got another unboxing for y'all, bruh. If you want to get you a pair of these shoes, you already know what to do. Go in the description down below and go copy a pair. Because look, these motherfuckers is clean. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ain't nothing like a fresh pair of sneakers, bruh. I'm telling you, y'all. Oh my goodness. We are talking about some of y'all's dream shoes in hand right now you're a click away from getting your dream sneaker y'all know how i do i do this with every sneaker full 360 both pairs side by side it's really not much to this shoe but for the sake of you know what i'm saying content and etc etc we're gonna try to break down as much as we can show y'all as much as as much as we can and then try them on on feet these are the Mason Mahara, that's how you say it. I'm hoping I'm saying it right. If I'm butchering it, let me know in the comments section down below. But I think it's called Mason Mahara, and I don't even know how to say Yashu, Yashu, Yashuro. Listen, let me know in the comments section down below. But this is full 360. You know how I do. I'm gonna do it every single time. You got the tongue right here. You got MMY, which I'm guessing stands for what I just said. You got the big bulky, you know what I'm saying, white laces, looking beautiful. You got the toe, you know what I'm saying, converse look. It's distressed, so it's like stretched out and all bumpy and, and ugly looking, but it just looks so goddamn clean with the converse silhouette. And then you come to the side, you got the two, you know what I'm saying, lace holes. You got the lace hole right there, et cetera, et cetera. This is back, back of the shoe with more on there. And then, you know what I'm saying, the outside of the shoe. There's really not nothing crazy about this Converse. But to me, in my opinion, this is a nice, chill, like, you know what I'm saying, loud shoe. Because if you know sneakers, then you know exactly what these are. And you would know that, like, oh, this nigga don't got no regular Converse on. He got them, the Mason Maharas on. The bottom of the sole is nothing special. It's just brown, and it has a whole bunch of dots on it. And then it has that splatter logo at the bottom. Um, this is just a clean overall shoe. I love the concept. I love the vision. If you're a sneakerhead, you just know, like, you just need stuff like this in the collection. It's just a white and black shoe. This is like some, like, you know, if you want to go to maybe a party, uh, um, a party where it's not so, like, you know, dressed down, throw some shorts on with this, you know what I mean? Come out looking clean without, while not doing too much and just keeping it nice and simple. I love the concept of this, and I'm, I'm a big, big fan but um yeah go copy up here in the description down below um i've been loving like the designer shoes that i've been getting lately and i just was like you know what let me add this to the collection so we got them now you're about to try them on foot all right y'all so this is the on foot look that i got for y'all today i decided to throw on the black jeans because i feel like you know this is a real real casual look black jeans the masons on converse look looking real studious looking really exquisite, you know what I mean? So, like I told y'all, I did try these shoes on initially, and just a sizing tip, go up on the size. Um, These shoes, no matter what size I feel like you get, these shits are gonna hurt your feet. I'm just gonna be 100% honest with you. These motherfuckers are killing me. These shoes are not for comfortability. These shoes are, if you are trying to be drippy, and you're okay with your feet hurting for maybe a few hours wherever you're trying to go wherever you're trying to go and you're trying to have that shit on while doing that then you're cool but if you're trying to be comfortable like the shoe is not tight as you can see it's not tight as hell 
that's not the problem here. It's just like the canvas of the shoe, the way the shoe is made. There's no structure to it. It's just, you know what I mean? Like cloth and stitching and then the bottom sole is like, there's nothing. Like, it's like, I don't know how to explain it, man. I, I, I wouldn't wear these shoes longer than maybe two to three hours and your feet are probably gonna be numb as shit. Look up reviews on them from other people. I did see um, before I gave y'all this on foot review. I looked at what other people were saying. I was thinking maybe it's just mine, but other people were saying, these shoes are not for the weak. Your feet are gonna be killing you, but you're gonna look like how you need to look. And these shits look so amazing. I'm happy that I still put them in the collection. It's always good to have shoes like this. Maybe if you're just going like to the movies or something and you're trying to be drippy, you're going on the first date, you can put these on because I don't know about y'all, but when I go to the movies, man, I like to, feel me, take my shoes off. So you could put these on, go to the movies, dripped out, you know what I mean? And then get up out of there and you're able to take these off and you don't got to worry about them until you're about to leave again. That's the vibes that I'm getting from this shoe. This shoe is very, very uncomfortable. It's not because of the size and I feel. I feel like if I had a, a size 13, I also wouldn't have been able to loose lace them. I like to loose lace my shoes. You see how the shoes is like loose lace right now? This is how I like to wear my sneakers. If I would have got a bigger size, my shoes would have been flopping off my feet. And I don't like that either. So that's why it makes it tough. But, um, you know, if you care about drip and your drip before comfort, go copy your pair. I definitely recommend 10 out of 10. The look is exceptional. Love how they look. Comfortability wise, I give them a 4 out of 10. These shits are killing me right now. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you smash that like button. If you want to go copy a pair of these sneakers, regardless of how much they hurt your feet, go in the description down below. Copy a pair. You're going to get right. You get $15 off your purchase if you use cold prints. Without further ado, I will see you in the next one.